It is a tradition for many West Michigan families. When the weather warms up, they head north. We've got a really easy way to make that trip and get lost in a wonderful story at the same time. It's called Famous in a Small Town, and it's Viola Shipman's latest novel set in northern Michigan. Welcome to Wade Rouse, a.k.a. Viola Shipman, to talk about this story and an upcoming event to celebrate its release. Wade, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. We're kicking off summer reading. Oh, summer reading. I mean, it is. this is perfect. Again, it's like a little escape. So tell us about this story. It is. As we were talking, we have big news. So the exciting piece is Famous in a Small Town was just chosen as a Good Morning America summer book pick and was also chosen as a best book of summer by Katie Couric and Reader's Digest. So we've got good things rolling oh, out MG. for this book. So a lot of people are going to be reading this one on I the beach this summer. Yeah, pray up. That's what we want. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's set in Goodhart, Michigan in the Tunnel of Trees, and it's a story that was inspired by Cherry Republic and um, my love of Michigan. But it follows two very different women from two very different eras. One is an 80-year-old named Cherry Mary Jackson, who becomes famous in her little town of Goodhart for spitting a cherry pit further <laughs> than anybody has ever done before, and enters the Guinness Book of World Records at a time in the 1950s at the age of 15 when women weren't allowed to do that. And she's a woman that's never played by the rules her entire life and has played, paid a price for that. And she believes that a woman will come along and break her cherry record and take over her general store. And along comes a shy school teacher from St. Louis, Missouri, who used to vacation in northern Michigan with her grandparents. And she's played by rules her whole life and at 40 has got nothing to show for it. And she gets a little too drunk <laughs> at the wineries on Chardonnay, wanders up to the Cherry Arena, and oh. spits that pit further than Mary ever did. And the 80-year-old is like, this is the woman I've waited for my entire life. But it's a story really about reclaiming the magic of summer and of yourself. And it's being compared to fried green tomatoes, which oh, is very humbling. That is wonderful. And I love Goodhart. I mean, is it also based kind of on the Goodhart General Store? 100%. Okay. So yeah, Mary runs a store that's been in her family for three generations called the Very Cherry General Store. And it's based completely on the Goodhart General Store, which if you don't know, is a post office <laughs> and sandwich shop and muffin place and pot pies, but it's really a community hub. And, you know, I grew up in small town America and we had a general store. So if you loved pulling ice cream from the freezers and all of those types of things, this is this is the perfect read. I love that. And so talk a little bit about your grandmother and how she's influenced you as a writer and as a mm. person and your storytelling. Huge. Yeah, you know, my grandmother chose her name for my fiction because I wouldn't be talking to you today if it weren't for her. her sacrifices changed my family's life. You know, she's a working poor woman that never finished high school. But she instilled in me the things that I try to instill in my books, which is that the smallest things in life mean the most. And, you know, as a reader, I never read women like my mother or grandmother in fiction. You know, we always have these 22-year-old TikTokers that can solve the world's problems today. And I love writing about women that have been challenged by life and knocked down by it, but get up and soldier on with great faith and resilience and um, are role models to us. And, and those, those examples that I was shown as a child are what I try to show to readers today. I love that. I love that too. Yeah, definitely old souls. You write about old souls. You exactly. Know? <laughs> you know, I always say small towns with a big heart, you know, returning and hearkening to those things that we had as children that we kind of forget about as adults that we want to reclaim in our lives. I love that. And, and as Michiganders, I think many of us can relate, um, especially northern Michigan. I, and I love that you use that as a theme through all of your books. Um, so people can come out and grab this. They can read along with Katie Couric and, and with Good Morning America and everything else. This is out and you can get it to the bookstores now? Yeah, it's out on Tuesday. You can pre-order now. And if you do, please do. We're doing a $750 all mega things cherry giveaway. So if you just email Gary at ViolaShipman.com with a receipt and address, you could win a Cherry Coach bag, a Ooh. Coach keychain, Cherry aprons, kitchenware. So it's a lovely giveaway to kind of incentivize the pre-orders for folks. There you go. Get your pre-order in. And you have a special event. Tell us about that, how people can get involved, come meet you and talk to you. Yeah, I'm doing eight states over the next three weeks, so I'll be a little blurry by the time <laughs> this is over. But the launch event is next Tuesday at Crane's Pie Pantry and Orchard in Fenville, Michigan. 
you can just stop by. It's a free event, um, but for a donation, you will go to the Fenville Elementary School. But it's open to the community. I'm doing a book signing. You can get a glass of wine or cider and appetizers and celebrate the launch of the book. Love that. Come meet you, talk to you, and, and shake your hand. Well, Wade, it's always a pleasure having you. Thank you so much. Good luck on the tour. Thank you. I'm and so excited to launch this into the world, so get your copy. There you go. It's a perfect beach read. There's that event, Tuesday, June 13th, Cranes Pie Pantry Restaurant and Winery at 530. You can find more at Eventbrite. Um, and, of course, find him on, on his email and get, get that pre-order in. Wade, thanks so much. Thank you for having me.